Hello YouTube and welcome to your 7th Visual Basic 2010 tutorial and in this tutorial I will be teaching you the select case now in my last tutorial I taught you the else if statement and how, how you can use as many as you want to test a condition but that's not a very efficient way of using your code so in this tutorial I'm going to teach you a better way of using of testing a lot of things instead of using else if so I'm still in the same project here from the last tutorial with all these names and the hello so if you go ahead and delete most of this code except for the one variable okay so now we're going to start um, coding the select case statement so you should already have all of this completed and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to type select case your name dot to lower and then hit enter and it'll automatically add in select so now you just type case case uh, what, what was the first name Brian case Brian and underneath that we'll just type message box dot show hello Brian and then we can do case Sam message box dot show hello Sam and then we can go ahead and do this for all of the names now I'm only going to do it for a couple just to keep the tutorial short Okay, now let's go ahead and give this a test run. So if we select Robert, hello, it'll say hello Robert. Now I'm going to explain the code. So we started off by declaring a variable, your name, as a string, and we set it equal to list name, which is this box right here, list name dot items, and then inside the parentheses, list name dot selected index, which is whatever the user selected, and we went ahead and converted that to a string just to be safe then we started the select case statement and we started off by uh, typing select case and then the variable your name and I converted it to lower and then down here I, I said case Brian message box dot show hello Brian case Sam message box dot show hello Sam and this pretty much does the exact same thing as the else if statement but it is much more efficient and it runs smoother and you'll notice this once you start building bigger programs so to finish it off I'll just type in case else which is similar to else if statement message box dot show who are you so this should be pretty familiar because it's very similar to the if statement except instead of just putting else you put case else and it'll handle anything that you have not stated inside of any of your cases so go ahead practice case a couple times you can do it with strings you can do it with integers and um, I'll take requests if you guys want me to show you how to do it with integers or other data types I will so go ahead and PM me 
So, and then practice this code, get used to it, and move on to the next tutorial. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.